the moon is constantly being bombarded with asteroids and meteorites. So how many and what sized meteorites strike the moon every day and every year? When NASA sent humans to the moon in 1969, one of the many hazards the agency had to anticipate was space rocks penetrating astronauts' space suits or equipment. Unlike Earth which has a protective atmosphere in which meteorites usually disintegrate, the moon is vulnerable to whatever rocks or even specks are going around in space. The minimum dimensions of a dangerous space fragment capable of piercing a spacesuit are 1 mm. But the odds of an astronaut being hit by a millimeter-sized object is like 1 in 1 million per hour per person. For impactors smaller than a millimeter, it is estimated that 10 to 1000 metric tons of dust collide with the moon per day. For larger rocks, the estimates are clearer. There are about 100 table tennis ball size meteorites hitting the moon per day. That adds up to roughly 33,000 meteorites per year. Despite their small size, each of these small ball size rocks impacts the surface with the force of about 3.2 kilograms of dynamite. Larger meteorites hit the moon too, but less often. It is estimated that larger meteorites, such as the ones 8 feet across, slam into the moon about every 4 years. Those objects hit the moon with the force of a kiloton of TNT. Meteorites can hit the surface at speeds of 20 to 72 kilometers per second. The impact produces a flash of light that can be observed from Earth. Because meteorites move so fast, even a 5 kg meteorite can leave behind a crater 30 feet across and hurl 75,000 kg of lunar soil and rocks from the moon's surface. Although the moon experiences many impacts per year, that doesn't necessarily preclude a human presence. Considering the moon's surface area is about 38 million square kilometers, if you pick a square kilometer patch of ground, it will be hit by one of those table tennis ball-sized meteorites once every thousand years or so. If a large asteroid were to impact the moon, it would create a large crater that would eject a lot of material from the surface, but that would be the extent of the damage. There aren't any asteroids large enough to split the moon apart or knock it off its orbit around the Earth. Impacts involving asteroids the size of one kilometer in diameter or more are expected to only occur a couple of times in a million years. While the Earth's tectonic activity and erosion have erased most of its craters, the Moon shows almost its entire impact history. There are almost 500 million craters larger than 10 meter in diameter, of which more than 1.3 million are larger than 1 kilometer and almost 7,000 craters greater than 20 km in diameter. NASA has identified around 2,300 asteroids that are considered potentially hazardous. All of their trajectories have been calculated and none threaten Earth or therefore the Moon for at least the next 100 years. Smaller asteroids are more likely to sneak up on us and are therefore more likely to impact the Moon as well as Earth.